How's it going guys? I, I wanted to give you a little bit of information. I was going to make a video about this, being that everyone's doing this, but some people still don't know about this. Okay, Sony PlayStation over there, as you guys can see, uh, is having a very, very, very big problem with a bunch of users' identification stolen. Yes, I finally said that word right. It took four takes. You'll see in the blooper reel. Okay, so anyway, so this is exactly what happened now. The PSN network has been hacked, if you don't know what PSN network is, because I'm a Xbox 360 user. I don't know this, that much about this deal, but for all the people that is PS3 users, I'm a very, very, very sad for you right now. So let me give you a breakdown of what's going on, okay? Sony, this is their quote that they said, We believe the unauthorized person that has aboard the following information that provides your name, address, city, state, zip, country, email address, birthday, PlayStation Network, policy, password, and login, and PSN online ID, and possible profile data, game of score, history, billing address, and credit card information with the three security numbers, and the expiration date. So that's pretty bad. So basically what happened is, is that now that Sony has got uh, hacked by this weird hacker, and whoever the hacker is, thank you for killing those PlayStation fanboys. We're so much more better. Go 360. Yeah. Guaranteed he's going to start hacking me now. Sweet. Okay. So this is what happened now. What happened is that there was this hacker, and then he just basically got pissed off with Sony, went and logged into their servers, and basically took down the PlayStation network. And PlayStation right now is basically saying, please, just stop hacking us. So they're just having it so bad. And then the other problem is with this deal is that the PSN network is down. And the worser, even worser part is, is that Sony's just going, oh, what? Uh, all your credit card information's been stolen. Uh, people have possible uh, ways of getting into your email address, passwords, and even credit card statements. Eh, whatever. At least you have more than one credit card, or you must be broke then. <laughs> whatever. So, uh, basically, that's what they're saying. So, I don't know why Sony's not taking any blame for their defaults. And they have a little bit of a bad security system. So, Sony, get your stuff together. I'm not a PlayStation user, and this is the reason why. Now, right now, as much as I hate Bill Gates, because don't forget, fanboy, basically, uh, he's going to be laughing all the way to the bank with this, if you think about this. Because now all those hardcore gamers that need to get and have their video game fixed. Now, they're not going to be playing your deal, they're going to go buy a 360 and they're going to discover how much more better the online is. So, leave a comment down below guys, of what do you guys think should happen with this whole Sony deal. I really think that they should take uh, blame for their actions, because all their actions do have consequences. And uh, it is possible for them to possibly find the hacker, but that would be a little bit hard. And you know, Sony does not like to work hard, it took them four years to get PSN Plus up. Uh, so. I will see you guys later, uh, and there will probably actually be a video right after this one, so I will see you guys probably way more sooner than I actually think. Later.